Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Strata Launch Rock completes 20th test flight. Aerobatic contest revived to honor Robert Hewer. Beta's production model Aaliyah CX-300 takes first flight. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Strata Launch Rock completes 20th test flight. Strata Launch successfully completed the 20th test flight of its Rock launch platform. The manufacturer will now be increasing test frequency prepping for its recoverable Talon A2 test bed. The latest test flight included a mid flight landing, allowing Strata Launch to switch out its crew before getting back in the air. The second flight crew was able to finalize certification on the aircraft during the flight. Having two certified crews expands Strata Launch's ability to conduct more frequent tests. Strata Launch also recently completed a series of flight tests meant to grow the ROCKS flight envelope. They confirmed ROCKS ability to support speeds up to Mach 0.63, operate at altitudes up to 35,000 feet, and return to flight with a shortened break period. During this time, Strata Launch was also able to renew the proficiency of its first crew and begin training the second. The TA-1 is the company's new autonomous reusable test bed. It took its first flight on March 9th, reaching speeds of almost Mach 5. Rock's expanded operational altitude will allow the Talon A vehicle to approach faster speeds and higher altitudes. The Talon A2 is the manufacturer's first fully recoverable autonomous hypersonic test bed designed for repeated air launches, hypersonic flight, and conventional landings. After the break, Pitkin residents vote for county control over airport decisions. Looking for a new generation of proven and efficient aviation power plants that boast modern engineering, electronic ignition, and both direct and gear drive systems? With 100 horsepower to 240 horsepower, the Skyline and Redline engines offer uncommon value in an overpriced industry. Whether you are looking for fixed wing or rotor, MW Fly Americas has been established to service the American market with dedication and expertise. MWFlyAmericas.com Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Pitkin residents vote for county control over airport decisions. Pitkin County residents voted by a 67 to 33 percent margin to allow the Board of County Commissioners to make its own decisions regarding the airport layout plan to widen and realign the runways and taxiways at Aspen Pitkin County Airport. Voters overwhelmingly supported ballot question 1C put on the ballot by the Pitkin County BOCC over a competing citizen initiative that would have required a vote for nearly every decision the county commissioners might make regarding the airport. McFarland Aviation Acquires Instrument Tech Corporation McFarland Aviation has acquired aircraft parts provider Instrument Tech Corporation. McFarland will benefit from the addition of high-quality parts such as fuel senders, horns, switches, and aircraft instruments. The products complement and will integrate seamlessly into McFarland's existing line of parts and accessories. McFarland offers more than 40,000 high-quality part, accessories, and innovative solutions for aviation, and it is the owner of a diverse range of brands including CJ Aviation, Flight Resource MT Propellers, Airforms, and PMA products. NBAA fires back on bogus sustainability report. NBAA recently called out an environmental study for making flawed statements regarding the sector's sustainability. The research failed to acknowledge the effort business aviation has put in to reduce damage, putting it on a path to achieve net zero emissions by 2050. The study was published in the Communications Earth and Environment Journal, claiming that emissions have increased by 46 percent between 2019 and 2023, pinning the blame on leisure and political flights. NBAA stated that the authors' claims were one-sided and used cherry-picked data, causing them to omit crucial information. 
AST taps New Glenn rocket for Bluebird Sat launches. AST Space Mobile has chosen Blue Origin's New Glenn rocket to deploy its new Block 2 Bluebird satellites, aiming to build out a space-based cellular broadband network. The first launches will take place over multiple years from Blue Origin's Launch Complex 36 in Cape Canaveral. New Glenn, named after astronaut John Glenn, stands over 320 feet tall and is designed to carry heavy payloads into low Earth orbit. It has a 7-meter payload fairing, which allows it to transport multiple devices per mission. That's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Aerobatic contest revived to honor Robert Hewer. Mike Hewer, son of legendary aerobatic aviator Robert Hewer, recently announced that the Robert L. Hewer Aerobatic Contest is being brought back to life. It will be hosted by former IAC Vice President Doug Bartlett in Platteville, Wisconsin, just before the 2025 EAA Air Venture. Robert Hewer was the first president and one of the founding members of the International Aerobatic Club. He began his career in commercial aviation, building up over 30,000 hours of flight time and too many type ratings to count. Throughout his aerobatic journey, Hewer played a major role in the sport's development. He valued accessibility that stretched beyond the unlimited category, leading him to form three new categories for beginners, sportsmen, intermediate, and advanced. Hewer was also essential in the creation of Sport Aerobatics Magazine, IAC Chapter Network, and the Technical Safety Program. To honor Hewer's contributions to aerobatics, IAC Chapter 1 named and sponsored a competition named after him. This was retired several years ago, but is now being revived under Doug Bartlett. The new competition will be held at Platteville Municipal Airport July 16-18, 2025. It will include all categories of power aerobatics. After these messages, Beta's production model Alia CX-300 takes first flight. Meet the first of a new generation of the M-Class family. The M-700 Fury. An aircraft worthy of the name, an indomitable force. The M700 Fury transcends traditional limits with more power, blistering performance, a finely appointed interior, and the luxury of what matters most, time. Experience the Fury. Join the legacy. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Welcome back. Beta's production model Alia CX-300 takes first flight. Beta Technologies recently sent the first production representative Alia CX-300 up for its debut flight. The electric conventional takeoff and landing aircraft is the first to come off the manufacturer's new production line in South Burlington, Vermont. The aircraft November 916 Lima Foxtrot was flown by Beta founder and CEO Kyle Clark. He took the CX-300 up to about 7,000 feet to complete, quote, handling qualities evaluation, stability and control test points, and initial airspeed expansion prior to flying several approaches and a normal landing, end quote. The sortie lasted around an hour in total. This inaugural flight kicks off Beta's production aircraft test campaign. It will complete 50 more hours on an experimental certificate before conducting a market survey and crew training. The manufacturer will then be well on its way to start deliveries. The CX-300 is the conventional takeoff version of Beta's Alia design. It has a five-passenger capacity and utilizes an electric H500A motor, giving the aircraft a 135-knot cruise speed and a 336 nautical mile range. The CX-300 is expected to receive type certification by 2025 and already has commitments from Air New Zealand, Bristow Group, and United Therapeutics. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.